Hey everybody, welcome to Contra Thoughts. Briefly, briefly, quick show today, talking about marriage, government, fun stuff, coming up next. Hey, welcome to the show. Welcome everybody. Uh, thanks for subbing. I've got quite a few new subs. I was on with Jason last night. Uh, Jason Whitaker there at Dear Will Christian. Great conversation talking about politics in the church, especially the highly melanated church or black church for short, uh, and kind of this liberal trend that's been going on for a long time and why that's acceptable and not acceptable for others and so on. So it was a great conversation. It was actually, we streamed it both live on my channel as well as on his. Uh, so he's got a great channel. If you don't know him, you probably do, but if you don't, check it out uh, for sure. And welcome those who did sub. Thank you again for that. I usually do this show about once a week. Usually it's longer form. Today will be very short, um, but about 20, 25 minutes, usually talking about a cultural topic uh, in the church or in just society in general. So anyway, um, senators, they're voting on marriage, right? We had the Defense of Marriage Act uh, back in the 90s that Bill Clinton and almost everybody signed, both Democrat and Republican, back when we you know, were more sane. And that was between a man and a woman. It was Defense of Marriage Act. That's what it was. Well, of course, the Obergefell decision in 2015 kind of changed that. That forced same-sex marriage down the throat. Um, but in 2008, Obama, who candidated, of course, with Joe Biden, who's now president, um, he was against same-sex marriage. Hillary Clinton, Biden, everybody was. Then they've changed and shifted. Well, here's a clip here from Biden in 2006. So just watch this. And we'll just look a little bit of scripture and we'll call it a night. We are desperately concerned about the circumstance relating to uh, avian flu. We don't have enough vaccines. We don't have enough police officers. And we're going to debate the next three weeks, I'm told, gay marriage, a flag amendment, and God only knows what else. I can't believe the American people can't see through this. We already have a law. The Defense of Marriage Act. We've all voted, not where I voted and others said, look, marriage is between a man and a woman, and states must respect that. Nobody's violated that law. There's been no challenge to that law. Why do we need a constitutional amendment? Marriage is between a man and a woman. What's the game going on here? <laughs> Okay, so you can see then, no, it's for between a man and a woman. We already had law, we already had precedent, we're good. So then how, 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 does, how does this change? Well, first of all, Biden sounds, I mean, he's like a walking corpse these days. And this was, what, 15 years ago? I guess 16 years ago? Man, I mean, he's only in, what, 78, 77 right now? Like, he looks like he's like 90. I think it's a lot of the Botox, because his face is all like tight. He's kind of like the guy who Tales from the Crypt. Anyway. Um, be quick. Sorry. Anyway, point is, we don't get our views from the culture, right? About what marriage is, what a baby is, what a border is, what stuff is. Is it fine to commit adultery? Is it fine to have uh, pornography? Is it fine to have minorly attractive people, MAP, or now the word pedo file something in the cabinet? Right, like we're, we're we slowly wear these things down, and then you basically infiltrate and then change society. This is what's happening. And when you don't have a society that's based on any actual morals, other than this kind of like this myth of neutrality, which is it's a lie. We don't have a myth of neutrality. It's a lie. You either have a culture that's that's biblically based. Not everybody's a Christian. We're not talking about forcing Christian Christian. Uh, ideals on people in the sense of making them be Christian, but you're still saying, hey, you you respect the rule of law. This is what we do. This is what Christianity is in America. This is what it's been. Uh, but you have alternatives of, well, atheist regimes that don't have biblical principles and they base their world view on not Bible. This is where a lot of the Christian nationalism stuff, people want to go and they think, well, we're going to force people to be Christians. That's not the case. But anyway, Ultimately, the vent of marriage comes from here. We'll look at the scripture here. Mark 10, 6, but backing up to verse 4, they said, Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of divorce and send her away. 
And Jesus said to them, because of your hardness of hearts, he wrote you this command, this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made the male and female. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. They are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God joined together, let no man separate. The point is that Jesus is affirming Genesis 2. Jesus is affirming this and saying not only that God made, God created, this is where atheistic evolutionary nonsense is indeed nonsense. It pushes against God's created order, pushes against reality. We see a building, we understand there's a builder. We see a painting, we understand there's a painter. We see a creation, we know there's a creator. God made the male and female from the beginning. This is also restated in Matthew as well. Jesus is defending marriage. This is where it comes from. Man shall leave his father and mother, hold fast to his wife. They should become one flesh. Wherefore, God has joined together. This isn't just about divorce. This is about so many other things, including the gender confusion of our age and our misunderstanding or disrespect of marriage that we're now seeing and have been seeing for decades. But it started with divorce years ago. And now we have same-sex marriage full on display. But why not three men and a woman or a woman and a boy? Why not a horse and a woman? Why not a dog and a man? Why not a blow-up doll? Why not three people of age? I mean, it's never ending. God made the male and female from the beginning. That's it. Marriage is between a man and a woman for life. Covenant marriage, that's all. A familiar passage, I'm sure, but Christ determines marriage, right? Because he's God in the flesh. He's God adding humanity to himself, taking the form of a bondservant, being found in the likeness of men. So he became obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross, the most wicked type of death for sinners. And this is the gospel. This is his life, death, resurrection. It's the gospel in the broad sense is God saves sinners, unworthy sinners. And this is how God did it through Christ. Repent and believe. We can pray and should still pray for the Pelosi's and Schumer's and Mitch McConnell's and Biden's and Obama's and Hillary's of the world. Because they don't know Christ. You can see by their words, by their actions, they deny him. Hope this finds you well. Um, drop a comment, tell me where you're from, and uh, what I miss, what I'm going to talk about the next thing, tell me as well. There's so many things to cover, I don't have a lot of time. I am a pastor and a husband and a father, um, and I don't even get a lot of the things I, I want to get done, get done. But anyway, tell me what you want me to cover next, and uh, until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Take care, be against the world, for the world.